Good morning again. This guy's career just goes from strength to strength. After starring in several hit series in the United States, he scored one of the leads in the Golden Globe winning Nip Tuck, which airs on this network. Now he's playing a super villain in the big screen adaptation of Fantastic Four. And he joins us in the studio this morning. Julian McMahon, welcome home. Absolute pleasure. How Good to you see you. Get, nice to see you. How, long you. how often do you get home? You know, unfortunately not as often as I like. And I think that has something to do with the uh, schedule that I've had over the last four or five years and also having a little girl. There you go. Yes, there you do go. How long have you been living in the States now? I moved over there initially probably about... And I know this might sound like I'm getting old, but I'm not, because I was probably about three when I moved. You sound like you've been there all your life. <laughs> you, what's that? You sound like you've I been know, there all your life. I know, I do. Well, I've been there. I, I moved there probably about 20 years ago originally. And then I, but in, in the midst of that time, I came back here. I did Home and Away and a couple of other things. But then as an actor, I've been back there probably about 12 to 14 years. So it's been quite a while. And every role that I play as an American, every time I... I, I I go for a, an audition or something like that. It's always an American, so that's where the whole American accent is taken. Although, I did have a very strong Australian accent last night. Yes, you did. Yes, because I had a couple of beers. There you go, a little bit. All my mates. A couple of VBs. Family and... members and all that kind of stuff, and I tell you, that will kick the Aussie accent very quickly. Well, son of an Australian Prime Minister, you've got to kick into that Australian accent. You do, you do, every now and then. It seems that it, it worked easily for you in the States. Another world, and then Profiler, and the, and the Sir Charmed. I mean, the roles seem to come thick and fast. Was it easy to crack it in the States? No, it wasn't easy. I mean, I don't think it's ever easy. Uh, you know, the, the business just doesn't work that way. You just have to keep plugging away. I some, people, like... some people never get the break, though, do that's they? That's true. That's true. Um, I, yeah, I always, I always felt like I was lucky I was working, put it that way. I mean, I, you, I haven't had the, the kind of success that I'm getting now through Nip Talk and obviously Fantastic Four and all that kind of stuff, but I really felt like uh, just to be employed was good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to be making some money and paying the bills and all that kind of stuff would be good. This year, 2005, is huge for you. Golden Globe nomination, Nip Tuck winning, hit yes. television series, mm -hmm. big new movie coming out, Fantastic yep. Four, high mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. Is this the year you've been working towards, waiting for? It certainly is. I mean, you know, it's funny, kind of, throughout your career, you kind of think that there are going to be these milestones, and this is kind of probably the largest one that I've had. And it's also, you, you know, you do have times when you think, okay, this is going to hit, and it actually doesn't. And this has been something that hit, I, I thought was going to hit and actually has. So mm -hmm. this has been a great year for me. This last two years has been really wonderful. Fantastic Four, I wasn't familiar with. Tell us about Fantastic, this one. Fantastic Four is uh, originally a uh, comic book by the, the, the Marvel, the Marvel people, Stanley. Uh, they have other things like Spider-Man, X-Men, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually the original uh, Marvel comic. It came out in 1962. The character that I play is Victor Von Doom. He came out Doctor the, Doom. Doctor Doom. He came out in the fifth issue of Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four are four people. One of them is called Mr. Fantastic, who's a stretchy guy. Uh, Susan Storm is the lady who turns invisible. Uh, Chris Evans, who's the guy who can fly and get the, on, on fire. In fact, you're seeing some wonderful footage. That's him right there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Ben Grimm, the who's strong guy. the thing. All useful the guy skill. who's made of rock. Yes. <laughs> and I play the bad guy, who's shooting at him right now. And Whatever. Yes, I play Dr. Doom. You play a good bad guy. Thank you very much. Must be fun slipping into that kind of role. You know, it definitely is. I mean, firstly, it's fun just because of the uh, whole comic aspect of things. Although, I've got to tell you, you do have to be careful in that kind of genre because there is a tendency to become Dr. Evil for a second there. So you have to kind of, <laughs> you know, you have to kind of weigh that line a little bit. Apologies to Mark Myers. <laughs> no, trust me. I, I love those movies. The movie is out on uh, July the 7th, not far away. Mm -hmm. um, and Nip Tuck continues to go from strength to strength on, on this network. Oh, yeah? Good. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know how it was going to do here just because of the type of thing it was and the content and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm, I'm, as we were talking earlier, I'm so excited it's doing well here. It's doing well in the good. States, too. So. Doing good. Trust me. Yeah. Julian, thanks for coming good. in. Thanks for having all me. Best. Nice to Great see you. Great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you.